spoiler alert from the thumbnail it is two of my wishlist Hermes bags hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Amy and today I have a very exciting unboxing and in the interest of time of course I've already cut off the sides it is actually from Lux Du Jour more about Lux Du Jour later let me just unbox it and show it to you guys first <gasps> any guesses guys any guesses what these bags could be and here's the bottom of the box as we all know Almez bags you can't just walk into a store and say can I try it on because they never have any and in fact you're even lucky to get offered any of these so a huge shout out to Lux Du Jour and thank you so much for sponsoring today's video and so yes they sent me two of my wishlist bags this one I sort of tried it on really briefly a friend's one but the other one I've never actually ever seen it in my life or touched one in my life so I have no idea if I actually love it but you know it is a quota bag so it's really really hard to try one on and so yes they sent me these two items in their Lux bag rental dust bags so Lux du Jour is a consignment store in Canada they're located in Calgary they sell pre-loved authentic luxury items mainly bags shoes and accessories they also rent out some of the bags that they buy out from clients they even have a spa service which i will just link all of them down below so you have all that information especially if you're in canada and you want to shop local or you want to just have access to these services within canada which we don't have a ton of in canada it's definitely one place to check out as you can see the first item that I am gonna test out and see what fits inside is this beautiful Lindy mini Lindy actually I should say and oh my gosh it's so cute by the way these bags are actually on their consignment website so they are available for purchase I'll just link them down below if you're interested I have tried my friends Clara's beautiful mini Lindy hers was in Bleu Nuit which is a very very dark navy color and hers was in Clemence and it was beautiful um, I even took a peek at the inside of her bag so I have a good idea of the mini Lindy already but to be able to rent one and to try it out at home and really have more time with the bag is super awesome this one is supposed to be a 2021 mini Lindy in swift leather the outside is a rose Mexico color Yes, this one is a two-tone bag, so cute. And the condition of this bag was rated as 9.8. And 9.8 is pretty close to like new, but not flawless. Palladium hardware, it's got the little handles, a side pocket. It's got these thick straps, which are attached and non-detachable on the two handles there. And the other side is the same thing. It has this little slip pocket. The bottom has four feet. These feet still have stickers on them. Yes, it still has stickers on them. So yes, this bag is almost like new, but it does have a little bit of the creasing uh, that was already there. So that's why they didn't rate it as 10 out of 10. It's a 9.8 out of 10. The interior is red color, and the red color of this is rouge piment, which means uh, red pepper and yeah so this is a two-tone swift leather mini lindy and we will be able to try this out do some what's in my bag maybe i can do a more in-depth review in the next video or q a so in the comment section guys if you have any questions about these two bags just let me know hopefully i will gather enough questions before i have to return these bags and uh, do a proper q a um, but i'll try to maybe in a follow-up video do a more in-depth review and so uh, that way it will help a lot of you decide whether these bags are for you but um, you know upon first impression and also trying my friends one I already knew that this was gonna be in my wish list because I'm totally into mini bags and this is gonna be a great travel crossbody small bag so we'll try this out let's unbox the second bag let's put this on the dust bag on my bed any guesses guys it's really tiny 
I'm sure if you follow my channel, you already know what my wish list is. So it's probably not a surprise for those of you why I asked for this one to reveal. Ah! <laughs> A mini Kelly, guys. Oh my gosh. I've never, ever seen a mini Kelly in real life. So it's so amazing that they actually had one. And uh, yeah, this is the only one that they had available on consignment. And this one is a 2017, so A stamp, blue Hydra Chevre Leather Gold Hardware Mini Kelly 2. So it's the 20 centimeter. Kelly. I know what you guys are thinking. You're wondering, why didn't I ask for a Mini Kelly and a Kelly 25? Well, I have a surprise for you guys. Just stay tuned to my channel because I, I will be reviewing more bags on my channel. That's just what I'm going to say. So uh, this week we are doing Mini Lindy and Mini Kelly. So let me give you a 360 of this Mini Kelly. So um, I'm going to link this down below. Like I said, it is available on their consignment store. So it is available for purchase. This one is rated 9.5 condition, which means that it is in excellent condition, but up close you will see minor flaws, which I totally agree with their um, grading. Uh, their grading is very accurate. So the only, uh, so the flaws that I've noticed, there's like a little dot right here, like a little, it's very tiny. I don't even know if the camera will pick it up. There's a little dot right there. So that can be just from uh, wear and tear and just like a tiny little, like a tiny little like, not scuff, but like, you know, just wear and tear from, from having bumped the bag there a little bit. That uh, still has most of the stickers on the, uh, on the Sangle hardware though. Um, the bottom has no sticker. So all the feet have scratches on them, which will be a little hard to see because of the reflection. But I'm just describing the condition just because I'm trying to explain their rating and it's so accurate because it definitely is in excellent condition, but you can see minor flaws up close. Um, yeah, so it still does have stickers on the Sangle hardware, on the plate over here, no stickers on the turn lock. And the turn lock is has some uh, minor scratches on it because of the opening and closing and also on the little um, the little clasps there they also have some very very minor scratches just from normal wear and tear it is a 2017 bag but overall you know from afar it's excellent like 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 a new Kelly because it's it's so cute uh, guys obviously this was the most exciting one that I was you know, ask, that I asked for. Um, and I'm just glad that they had a mini Kelly for me to even try on. Even though blue is not my color, but just to be able to try the size because a lot of us do wonder, oh, should we ask for a Kelly 25? Should we ask for a mini Kelly for our next wish list? And it's not like we can choose anyway, but at least if you know for sure that, oh, the mini Kelly is too small, then you just cross it off your wish list, right? So it's such a great opportunity for me to try this on. And it says made in France on the strap as well. And so yeah, we'll be able to do a more in-depth uh, review in the next video. But in this video, I just wanted to do what's in my bag. And of course, you guys just write all your questions in the comment section and I'll uh, try to answer all of those in a follow-up video. So, ah! It's so cute that's why i dressed in blue to kind of match it it doesn't really match maybe like this will go really well with just a white plain white t-shirt and jeans it will go so well because it has such a nice casual vibe but it can still be sort of dressy because of its size and also the angular really clean elegant shape and that is why i'm not wearing any rings too guys because i'm trying to be really careful with these bags as i always am but these are are not mine, therefore I'm being extra, extra careful. I think we'll do the mini Lindy what's in my bag uh, at the end because uh, I know it fits way more things so we can take our time to really try different things and maybe pretend that we're traveling, put a couple of passports in it and see how it goes. Especially with the mini Kelly, it's 
so small. <laughs> we'll try a combination of different things, but realistically, you would at least have your bare essentials, your keys, your cards, a bit of cash, your lip balm or lipstick, and then your phone. Those would be kind of like the bare minimum. And then we'll see if we can fit other things. Did I show you the 360 of this Blue Hydra Mini Kelly in Chev? I don't think I did, but if I did, um, here you go again, because it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, right off the bat, I noticed that, you know, if you do close your bag, like all the time, you will get a lot of wear and tear on this part because it's like hardware on hardware, we'll scratch it a lot. And also to kind of open it, you do have to like kind of scratch the hardware, which I think is pretty much expected, um, you know, with all the research. And I'm sure if you own the bag, you would know already. And the bag opens like so. It has a pretty small one compartment with one slip pocket. So at least it's, um, you know, it's quite open. Once you open it, it's quite open. You get a bird's eye view. You do have to sort of like lift the, the, the flap here as well. And um, yeah, we'll just carefully place our items in there. The leather on the inside is appears to be swift as well um and she does have still part of the sticker on her plate here some of it is a little detached um by the way i think if you guys own these bags and you are actually using your bags just remove the stickers please the stickers are such an eyesore i just want to remove it but it's not my bag so i'm not going to do it um but yeah uh, the date code on this bag, because I think they are placed differently um, on different space uh, depending on the year of the bag, but the date code of this one is on the left side on the inside of the pocket. It's really hard to see, by the way, um, but I did check it. So first things first, most of you guys will want to know if a large phone fits. So I do own two different large phones. This one is an Apple 10s max xs max some of you call it but it's 10s max and so this is apple's largest uh 10th generation so iphone uh, i know the current one is even bulkier but at least it gives you an idea and i have a very thin case it's a tight fit for sure and it has to be diagonal and mine is um the 10s max which already is slightly less bulky than the most current 13 max phone the 13 pro max so i'm guessing you will have to remove your case for sure uh and you will only be able to fit it diagonally you wouldn't want to be removing and putting your phone in it constantly so already i'm not going to try the samsung because the samsung is longer and i it wouldn't fit it just wouldn't so that's for the large iPhone. Obviously, if you have the regular iPhone, so if you have the 13 or the 13 Pro or a mini, then it will fit because the mini is the smallest one of all and it fits really, really nicely and without any problems. The Chanel card holder, this one is um, a good size card holder and it fits right in as well, sideways. And as you can see, there's a little bit of space behind that, but not much more. So I think we will just go ahead and put keys. So I have six key holder here from LV. There we have it. It does fit all of that because it has quite a bit of width. Um, it's definitely wider on the bottom, more narrow on top. So for sure right now it will close. Um, but I did tuck everything on this side. So that's why this side doesn't... Uh, want to cinch in as much. I wanted to put my lip product first before we rearrange it. So let's just put one lipstick on the side and one um, hand sanitizer. So I have a, a small size bottle hand sanitizer. Let's just put that in. So there we have it. And keys so i have my car keys and let's just put that on top i'm not going to squeeze it in the side anymore so i'm just gonna put my car keys on top and it's really full at this point 
I don't know if cinching it in is even possible at this point. This one maybe a little bit, but this side is a little tight. And I think the only thing we can do is just close the flap. But as you can see, um, you can, you know, sometimes just use your bag holding it like this if you're not, um, you know, if you're reaching into your, your bag um, more often, um, then you can sort of use it like this because it is a small size bag. Therefore, uh, it does put some strain here, but if you're just doing it temporarily, that's okay. But I think most people would prefer to close their Kellys. So let's just do that. Let's go right ahead and close the Kelly. As you can see, I'm pushing in the hardware so that it can bend and allow me to close it. And yeah, tucking in other sangles down below. And that's how it looks like. This side is looking really good. This side has more things, but still looking really good. And that's pretty much the maximum that you will be able to fit in a mini Kelly. And of course, this is a used mini Kelly. Therefore, it's probably already loosened up like the leather has softened up a little bit. And Chev also is known to be a softer leather than Epsom. Um, I think it softens more or it's it's slightly more malleable not a ton but like it's slightly more and oh my gosh it's just so pretty guys oh my gosh it's definitely going to be a bit more cumbersome than the birkin already i can see that um but yeah stay tuned for that other video so that's what it fits in the mini kelly i'm i'm not even going to try other things there's not really much more to try. This is my Bastia coin purse. I think you just you, you just gotta take your essential. Unless you don't take your keys and you can replace with the Bastia and maybe a compact mirror. Um, but yeah, the large phone is diagonal is probably not the best uh, bag if you have a large phone only. Um, just get the 25 size. So yeah, that's how it looks like for the Mini Kelly with um many many things in it but it still fits all of those things which is a good it's a really good size for what it is again we're gonna just carefully open this and see that's what i mean by like sometimes i feel like the kelly because the kelly definitely is more challenging to open and close which is something that you have to be okay with and get used to um so there's no really other way around it. It's really just what it is and the design, whereas the Birkin, everything is bird's eye view, grab everything at a glance. Uh, also with the Mini Kelly, you have to contend with a smaller size phone if you wanna put your phone in your bag. But most people nowadays are always on their phones. So if you're constantly opening and closing your bag to grab your phone, then this bag is definitely not for you. This bag is, um, you know, this bag is kind of more of a novelty size in Hermes world. But it's super cute. It's really cute and super coveted. <laughs> Even in this color, which is not my color. It's not my color at all. I like the gold though. I like the gold hardware a lot. We can maybe do a comparison of the hardware in another video because I have palladium and I have also rose gold. And the gold really looks so well with this blue. Blue looks good with gold. So, um, yeah, let's close her up. Oh yeah, when it's empty, it's definitely way easier to close because there's nothing. You don't have to like press it as hard or anything. So that's the mini Kelly. So with the mini Lindy, uh, the closure, if you want to really close it all up, that's how it would look like. Orient the, the turn lock to one of the zipper pull to take out the zipper pull. And then you orient it again to this side of the um, zip pole and turn, take it out like that. And then you can just straighten it up to do the, uh, the flap as well. Uh, but of course, you also have to unzip it on both sides. It's got a little H there. It's really cute. 
um, and then just do that so it's quite a few steps to open this bag if you close it all up all the time uh, let me know how you guys typically use your bag when you're actually using your bag do you just do the zipper pulls which I would assume that's what most people would do because to put it through this and then closing it is just too many steps so yeah I would totally assume that most people just do the zipper pulls if they want to just kind of close it and make it secure otherwise you can even just leave it open like this while you have your bag on crossbody but yeah this bag is very very spacious even though it's um it's a small size bag but uh it's still a you know kind of like a boston kind of like a speedy it will fit a lot for sure a lot more than the mini kelly that is for sure the slip pockets on the side i don't know if anybody would use them i would assume that you can put something there very temporary like uh some sort of pa parking pass that you need to grab to the handout or um, let me know what else you use these for. It'll definitely fit a card like that if you have some sort of quick access card that you want to just leave in there or put in there for super quick access. I would assume that's what I would use it for. Let's say I'm getting out of the garage um, at a paid garage and I'm just trying to hand out the ticket. Then I'll leave it there so that I have very quick access. Otherwise, I don't really know what to do, what to do with these side pockets. They're really um shallow and uh, really just for temporary convenience which is still great it still has options on each side of the interior it also has the slip pocket inside i'm pretty positive that this will fit the large size phone so this is my 10s max actually makes me wonder if this size which is much longer will fit in there you have to you know angle it in and then slide it in so it does fit so i'm just gonna leave both of my phones in there because why not let's just assume you have two phones one for traveling one for work one personal um, let's put our passport holder in there at an angle you see and then you once it's inside then you reorient it to make it straight so I know the two passports will fit because the passport holder fits inside but let's just assume you don't want to waste your very valuable space and just put your passport directly in let's just do that that's way easier that goes straight in like that let's do the mini pochette next because i would assume most people will have a bunch of different things in there so let's just throw our mirror we have two lip products one hand sanitizer let's just throw our car keys in there as well so yeah it's um it's got my mirror inside as well and we can close it or we can just leave it open for quick access it's a wider fit so i had to kind of reorient it um so yeah you just have to rearrange or arrange your bag last but not least because we are running out of space now i will just put my keys and card holder okay so i put my card holder there and it's really full I don't want to squeeze in my keys just because uh, again this is not my bag but for sure you can leave it on top or if you just removed one of the phones because most people don't have two phones and I have two large phones in there right now uh, then you will for sure be able to squeeze it in so for sure now you can still close it let's just take out one of the phones squeeze in this and then put our sunglasses on top and see how it looks like much more comfortable so i have my opened mini pochette at the very back with my things standing up so that i can just reach in and then followed by my phone this is the 10s max so you know your max phone will fit in there two passports one two and then my slgs because now we have more space i'm standing them up so i can really grab them and have quick access so this is the card holder the six key and i still have a little bit of space in front so if i had like three passports or four passports i have a bit of space here but let's just not let's just not fill it to the brim because that's you know that's gonna make it really heavy uh this will not fit in there this whole case will not fit in there therefore i'm just gonna take out the sunglasses and the pouch actually i put my keys down just because it's easier for my sunglasses to go in so there you have it you have sunglasses on top card holder is standing up keys is laying on the bottom there two passports one large max phone and then my mini pochette is in the back with compact mirror 
two lip product, one hand sanitizer, and um, my car keys are in there as well. So we've got a lot of things and um, it fits really nicely right now. It fits quite comfortably. There's still a tiny little bit of space here, right here in front and a tiny little bit on top, but let's just not fill it to the brim. It's getting quite heavy. And so now you can close it and I would assume that most people just close it like this and just use it. It's really cute as it is already, but with the uh, Mini Lindy, I've noticed ever since the first time I tried it, that it's not really meant to be hold, to be held as a dumpling. It doesn't really become a dumpling shape because most people will just fill their bags and um, it's really meant as more of a boxier, uh, mini Lindy inspired shape, but it doesn't fold like the Mini Lindy does. So it's more as a cross body bag like this, but as you can see, it fit everything I possibly can need for, um, for traveling, it has feet, so every time you put it down, it will protect the leather. So it's a really great bag, and I'm so happy I got to try it, like really try it with my own things at home, and um, get a good idea of how this will work out with me in my life, and I think it will be excellent. I really can't wait to get my hands on one because I really love it. It's super cute. It is more of a casual bag, so it's not your typical, you know, dressy bag, but it's a very, very good Hermes small size bag that is travel friendly. I have small hands and I can't really extend them that much. It's not really a handheld bag, so you can hold by one side, which, you know, I would only do it temporarily. I don't want to do that the whole time, especially with things inside. Comfortably fits everything we just saw earlier. Um, you do have to wiggle things in and out, but that is assuming you do have a large phone, which still is quite easy to get in and out because uh, unlike the the mini Kelly, you really have to be careful with the turn lock and opening the bag. This one is still, you know, you still have to get through, but just because I have everything inside, it's quite filled. But if you have any smaller phones like mine, then it's a breeze. It's literally a breeze to get in and out of this, of this bag. Um, it, it'll be so convenient for me, myself, for the things that I have. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty good representation, actually. This is a really good representation of what I would carry with my sunglasses like this and, you know, with my little knickknacks on the back. Um, and I'll just leave the mini pochette open as my catch-all. It's really, really amazing. I love this bag so much. I almost forgot to mention that I have a coupon code to share with you. It's Amy150. So you can save $150 off of your first purchase of over $1,000. Check out their website. I will have these two items linked down below. I'll also have their Instagrams linked down below. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. And also, like I said, if you have questions about these two bags, I will still have these bags for a little while. So if I gather all the questions ahead of time, uh, while I still have these two bags and I can answer them with the bag in my hand. Let me know if you think I should go for a mini Kelly or a Kelly 25 as my next wish list item. Like I said, I kind of asked for both, but we shall see which one I get and it's not guaranteed and the color and all that. But anyway, we can at least all discuss. If you own any of these two bags, which one do you actually reach for more and what do you use it for more or which one do you like more? I know it's sort of like a struggle to decide what you like more because technically I like the Mini Kelly more, but I think I will reach for this bag way, way, way more. So this will get more cost for wear, therefore it's actually more worth it but I can never deny a novelty size Mini Kelly. It's just so cute and you know, nobody will say no to Mini Kellys, I'm sure. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you back. Please do subscribe and also you can support me further by becoming a channel member where you get more exclusive content. All the links are down below and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.